Peter Chang from Macho Cave TV and I'm going to unbox the Proline Flowtech RC car body and this Flowtech RC car body is for short course trucks and so if you have a Traxxas Slash, an HPI Blitz, uh, Kyosho Ultima um, or, or just about any one tenth scale short course truck this body is, is uh, going to be pretty cool uh, fit for it and what's interesting about the Proline body is that it's a it's a high flow body so that you will, you won't get the parachute effect when you're when you're driving around in your short course truck. So let's go ahead and bring this out, and we see that uh, one tenth scale is is pretty large. And let me just adjust the camera so we get a better shot and angling of this. So check it out. It's uh, it is pretty pretty unique and man I just can't wait to start painting this and we'll take a look at this what you what you get when you purchase an RC car body and check it out this is all the packaging you have so it's just a giant uh, bag that uh, engulfs the body so it's not much packaging necessarily but you know you don't really need that much packaging so what do you get when you purchase a RC car body and and what do you do with it so let's go ahead and open it up the bag here and check it out so in most cases it's a uh, you get a kind of a monolithic body here so this means you're gonna have to somehow cut out the wheel wells and also uh, even though this looks important here this actually indicates where some of the holes are for the bodies. Now I wouldn't necessarily go with these hole indicators but just so you know that these are just kind of guidelines. So if you didn't have the car uh, ideally you could just go by this guide and, and punch out holes for your car model. But because uh, sometimes this doesn't align very well with your body posts you should just double check that as well. Um, also, I want to note that um, over here, there is that, that blue sticker indicates that uh, there's a protective film around here. So what you could actually do is you could actually draw and write, write your designs with uh, permanent Sharpie markers on here. And so you could actually, you could actually uh, draw out the design and, and uh, prep, prep your designs for painting. Um, also, let me just adjust the camera here uh, I'm really loving the detail on this on this uh, ground edge here it's a uh, it's actually nicely detailed let me show you the back of this too uh, and the reason why this is a high flow body is that it actually has a lot of holes and little cutouts for you to actually cut out um, we also have decals for this too uh, I bought the uh, Ford version of this kit um, you could actually get the uh, the Chevy version too and and if you get the Chevy version, you get like a Chevy sticker. Um, also, the styling is slightly more Chevy than Ford. And let me just pull this out. We also have some screws because we have some of the uh, side fins and panels that you could put on there too. And some more screws there. Let's go ahead and pull out the decals. These are just some of the decal stickers that you could put on. Um, here we have some masks so you can actually mask out the windows and let's see if this actually comes with any kind of instructions and it seems more like a catalog for Proline stuff oh there's also some more Proline type bodies you could actually purchase too very cool but I'm uh, just also kind of disappointed because it's uh, not much in terms of manual for example um, but even though it doesn't really have a manual, it's pretty straightforward what you do. Um, these are the the uh, additional fins that you would actually cut out and uh, uh, screw in into the RC car body. But it would have been nice if it, they would have had some more of a descriptive material because if you're a beginner in this stuff, uh, you may not be sure exactly what to do. So that's uh that's kind of cumbersome so we'll be making a tutorial video to cover some of those aspects of it but overall though I'm really digging this high flow body there's a lot of additional spaces and areas where I, I could actually 
cut out some vents uh, to have the air flow better and so when you're jumping you you wouldn't necessarily be getting that parachute effect however because there's so many different ports to cut out it might take a little while to cut out all the all the little vents and all the holes also keep in mind that when you cut out more holes structurally the uh, body shell uh, starts to weaken because there's less support for for the uh, body shell overall the proline flowtech body is a macho cave must-have and if you want to save a few extra dollars you can just get the proline version of the body as well too thanks for watching and remember everything matters